Hey guys, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a quick reading uh, for Libra. We're just going to pull some cards to see what we get. Um, this is a general reading, so just remember to take whatever resonates for you and leave the rest for other people. It does, it's okay if it doesn't all resonate for you, as long as you get the message that you came in here to find. Even if it's one little thing, then you're, um, you know, happy. So at least you got something out of it. Alright, the first card you have is Soulmates. Alright. The tribe, imagine, and no place like home. So I feel like you're um, manifesting all of this with the Imagine card. Um, the tribe and Imagine can also mean that you need to find your soul family, people that are close to you, people. Yeah, because you're feeling left out in the cold right now. That's why with the Five of Pentacles, feeling lost, feeling unappreciated. Okay, leaving something behind, leaving tough times behind and trying to find something that's a little bit more easier. Okay, so this could have been with the soulmate card. Okay, because soulmates kind of, you know, are teachers to us. They teach us a lot of things that we want and that a lot of things that we don't want. Okay, um, then you have the Hierophant. I do feel like you're a little bit um, intuitive here, um, Libra. Um, this is also saying that maybe you might need some type of counselor or maybe you're looking up to somebody um, for some type of advice dealing with all this um, detaching and feeling left out, maybe even financially struggling and stuff like that. But I do feel like you're leaving something. What are you leaving behind? A marriage. Okay, so I guess you're um, leaving some, it's a, it could be a marriage, it could be a long-term situation, it could be just anybody that you're committed to. This person may become pregnant. Or maybe you want them to have, um, to get pregnant. I don't know why I said that. Don't mind me. But I feel like you are leaving a new, um, you are leaving a marriage behind. You have the Hierophant, the Four of Wands. They're both about marriage, okay? But it also feels like maybe you guys went to counseling or had, you know, uh, maybe you guys used to talk to your friends about each other or whatever, but I guess like things didn't really quite work out because you are trying to detach yourself from this person or this situation that you're going through because you got no place like home. Alright, so I feel like you just want serenity and peace. Situation. Three of Cups. Drinking or just happy times. Um, page of Cups also. So the reason why I say drink is because you got two cards with Cups. And six of wands. Okay, so it's like right now, I think you're trying to do something new. Yeah, King of Swords. You're starting to see right through this person, and I feel like this is helping you to be able to take your power back with the Aries, with the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're getting your power back, and you're starting to see people for who they really are, or see things for what they really are. You're starting to see right through them. Um, you're not allowing their tactics to work on you anymore. So you're you're trying to emotionally detach. But you remember, um, remember that when you leave with the Six of Swords, it's like just a message card that it's like, um, don't take all the baggage with you when you leave. All this emotional baggage and all this sadness and anxiety, depression, worries, you know, holding on to the past and stuff like that. Because that's going to hinder you from being able to move uh, forward. You got the one, the, okay, the page of cups, the two of cups, the three of cups. So are you thinking about sending an offer of love to somebody? All right, and the six of wands. This is telling me it's going to bring success. It's going to bring happiness, temperance, asking for patience with all this, doing things in steps. Taking the steps, like I just said. And the temperance card is about balance and moderation, doing things step by step. And then you got... Page of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups. I feel like you want to offer somebody your cup of love. And it's going to lead you to happiness. I feel like you've left, you might have just already left this person in the past. Yeah, Tower and the High Priestess. It's like you knew something was up. Like maybe you, you guys weren't speaking for a while with the High Priestess. You guys were not really communicating too well. Um, you could have, but it didn't, like, end up so nicely. So maybe you guys just, like, didn't really speak as much. You kind of held back instead. But there was a tower situation to where everything was, like, blown up for you. And then I feel like that is what helped you be able to see clear with the King of Swords. And it's like, you got the King of Swords. You had the Emperor on the deck, too. And the Emperor. So I do feel like this person was, like, you know, um, a soulmate for you. But I don't know if it's really working out for you. I feel like you're ready to offer your cup to somebody else. 
Yeah, the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, right when I said there, okay? And then you have the two of pentacles. It's like a lot of things that you're doing. You may be working two jobs. You may be just juggling a lot of things, family issues, love issues, friendship issues, work issues. It's like you got so many different kind of like things and you're trying to juggle all of them at once. It's really emotional. It's really hard for you to keep on going. But you keep on doing it. You know what I mean? But don't worry because all this stuff is about to pay off for you. It went from like all the struggles and all this worries and all this like, you know, listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. And three of cups, the tribe, tells me that you need to find your soul tribe, okay? It's like you need to find the people that are most closest to, people that you really um, rely and count on to be able to give you good advice like the hierophant. You know what I mean? I do see that the universe is asking you to have some type of patience here. Okay, let me ask why the patience. Why the temperance? For, uh, they want you to have patience before you reach out to somebody because you have some work to do on yourself. The eight of, eight of Wands is about communication, right? So it's like they're asking for you to have patience about wanting to reach out to this person because you still have some work to be done for you, okay? This is just getting away from the people, places, and things that are around you that are stopping you from being able to do the healing work, healing work that you need to do for you and doing all the... Um, Stuff that you need to do in order to get your life back on track. So I feel like they want you to work on you first. Focus on you and your healing with the temperance, the seven of swords. You know what I mean? Hold back from this conversation that you want to send out. I know it must suck because you probably really want to, you know, something new. I feel like you are manifesting a new start. You are manifesting this new love to happen. But I just feel like the universe is just asking you for a little bit more patience. I'm going to get this Moonology card and pull some cards right here and see what we get. Don't let pride get in your way. All right. So don't let pride get in your way. We all know what that means. And then it says take time to breathe out. Yeah, because you're doing too much. All right. So it's like, you know, rest, relax. Don't keep on overstressing, overworking yourself because a win-win outcome is forecast. So it's like whatever you're doing, whatever you're planning on doing, whatever you're working on, it's like it's working. <laughs> Your hard work is paying off. That's freaking crazy, right? <laughs> I just had a feeling to look. But, um, so, your hard work is paying off, so keep on pushing forward, alright guys? If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. It helps other people to be able to see my videos. Then I get to help more people. Alrighty then, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye.